Guys, you won't believe what I did. I forgot to turn my mic on most of the tutorial. Well, this should be interesting. Hey flower stabbers, welcome to welcome back to Solo Flower University. If you're new here, don't forget to like and subscribe. The subscribe button is down below. Today we are doing part three of our $1 vase challenge. And if you missed part one and two, I've got the links down in the description box down below. Don't forget to stick around for the end. I've got a surprise for you all. Hint, a way to possibly share what you're doing. And without further ado, let's jump right in. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna establish the highest point of our bouquet. Using this branch here, I'm gonna go ahead and stick this in, and this is gonna be my highest point. Everything from this is gonna go down in a downward angle. This next branch piece is gonna be going in shorter, uh, kind of a midway point, and then my front piece is gonna be my shortest piece in the front of the bouquet. And as you can see, it goes in a perfect, well, not perfect, but downward angle. And then I'm going to now take all of my little pieces and go in a downward angle from that highest point all throughout the bouquet. All the edges, even the back of the bouquet and the front of the bouquet, all will come down from that point um, and create a downward angle throughout. These pieces now are going in and just filling in around, creating that shape. You can see here on in the vase, I have it filled with expanding foam. You can use any kind of floral foam or you can use expanding foam or whatever you have available. And I have covered it with moss because I know that it's going to be a little bit more uh, see-through of a bouquet. With this bouquet, I am starting with the greenery first because it's going to create the blueprint of how the entire arrangement is going to lay out. And so it's a little bit different from my other bouquets, but it is great for establishing a blueprint for the flowers and all the rest of the little greenery that's gonna go in after this greenery. So as you can see here now, I've got some greenery going in the front. Everything is angled down from that highest point. You just gotta remember that you don't want anything to be higher than that highest point and everything is coming in a downward slope from that point, just like this. The next thing is we're gonna go ahead and grab some flowers. I've got three big flowers gonna put in. The first big flower is gonna go in the back towards that highest point. And then I'm gonna take my other two big flowers and I'm gonna stick them on the front on either side, kind of creating a triangle shape. And that way we end up nice and balanced right here in the front. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and take these little small flowers and I'm gonna fill in all the little areas throughout, re remembering to stay along with that angle downward. The biggest thing to check when you're putting in the flowers is the height of the greenery surrounding the flowers. Uh, and to also make sure that you've got balance throughout, kind of keeping with that um, rule of what goes in on one side goes in on the other side. I'm going to go ahead and change out that flower as well. Okay, so um, as you can see, things are starting to look nice and balanced, and those flowers are spread throughout. So I've got the big, long epilocus leaves that are now going to go in. I've got a long one, a medium one, and a short one. These are going to go in. The epilocus is going to be a little bit taller than the tallest point, but that's okay because it's a taller greenery. I'm keeping with the downward slope and putting mediums in the halfway point and small epilocus toward the front like so. Next, I'm gonna add in these blue wheat and a little bit of silver spirals. The blue wheat will go in starting with the highest point. If you have a hard time getting it in, you can use a little stick or something to put it in. And right now I'm just fluffing the bouquet. There's a lot of shaping involved with these bouquets. Uh, next, what we're gonna do is continue to put the blue wheat throughout, just adding it where it looks, where the gaps are, where it looks good. A lot of what happens with this is just kind of an artistic eye of sorts, but really you want to make sure that you create balance. What you do to one side happens the other side, just like that. I'm now putting in the silver spikes uh, that add a little bit of a flare. They're kind of curly and silver and 
Obviously, I'm going to stick the higher pieces in the back towards the high point and then the shorter pieces in the front towards the short point. Uh, this piece here is going to go in the back to create a little bit of texture back there, a little bit of party in the front and a little party in the back. And there you have it. That is the bouquet. As you can see, we've got things balanced. We've got our high point established and everything comes in a downward angle from there. We've got what happens on one side happens on the other. And this is how you do an A-line arrangement. All right, that was it for the tutorial today. I hope that you were able to see how to do that. And I would love to see how you guys recreate the tutorials that I'm doing. And so starting officially today, I am going to start an Instagram specifically for sharing your photos. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my Instagram handle down in the description below and hopefully on the screen somewhere up here. And then um, I would like you to tag me and, and post what you do with the tutorials. I'd love to see the arrangements you make and um, any comments or things that you have to say. So uh, that's all for today. I hope you enjoy and I'll see you next time. Bye. Um